I'm Samantha Lewis with Cambridge Health Tech Institute, and I'm here at the 8th Annual PEG Summit with Kelvin Lee, who is a Gore Professor of Chemical Engineering and the Director of the Delaware Biotechnology Institute at the University of Delaware. Kelvin is currently working on the ChoGenome.org project, which we're going to talk a little bit more about today. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. And my first question for you is, uh, I'd just like to know a little bit more about the project and where it's headed. Well, the project started out as a collaborative effort amongst industry, academia, and government to establish an open source and freely open environment to share information about the Cho genome and related genome scale data sets. And so far, we've only had time to establish the genome database in the last six months. And we're looking forward to more data coming online from other genomes, and we're going to get those online as soon as possible. So this is a relatively new um, project, and you mentioned that you know you have government and academia involved. Is there anybody else involved in the project, or do you plan on involving anyone else in the future? Today, we actually have had a lot of input from academics all around the world, from all the different major continents and uh, research institutions doing CHO biotechnology. We've also had a lot of interactions with the industrial biotechnology community and Big Pharma, as well as a couple of government agencies, the National Science Foundation and the National Institutes of Standards and Technologies. And we're looking forward to always including more people and getting more input and sharing of more information. So how can researchers um, and industry researchers use this database? Is it available for use right now? It is. The website's online. It's www.chogenome.org. It, the front page has a search box. You can type in the search for any gene, protein, uh, gene ontology term, and so on, and that will take you to some additional pages that provide more detailed information. We also have some tutorials and FAQs posted, so if people aren't sure what they're getting into, they can always download one of those uh, tutorials to figure out how to use it. And of course, we have on every single page uh, a, a single link where you can just click and send us an email and we'll try to respond to questions as fast as we can. And so what are the current results that shed light on expressing protein in CHO? Well, there's a lot of interesting things. It's still early days in the genome effort. One of the more interesting observations came out from the CHO K1 genome, which was that nearly all of the genes found in human glycosylation are also found in the CHO genome. But interestingly, only about half of them seem to be expressed in CHO cells. So that provides a lot of opportunities for thinking about cell line development and engineering and the capabilities of CHO cells, as well as things we might want CHO cells not to do, and it provides an opportunity to knock certain genes out. Thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. As many of us know, in protein engineering, CHO is king, so this is a great database. Again, if you didn't catch it before, it's www.chogenome.org, and you can give that a try right now. It's live and online. I'm Samantha Lewis with Cambridge Health Tech Institute, and that was Kelvin Lee with uh, the University of Delaware.